What is up everyone? So welcome to the official Kronos funding tutorial for Quant Tower. Over here, I'm going to tell you guys exactly everything about Quant Tower, how it works. First, the most important thing, setting up your connection, right? So the first thing you want to do is you want to make sure that it is updated, right? You want to make sure you have the latest version. How you're going to do it is you're going to go to the top left over here to the Quant Tower logo. You're going to go all the way over here to the bottom and you're going to see all these different things, all this different stuff. So again, all these are just the buttons of how it works, what it works, the different things you have and the different, you know, tools that you're actually able to use. Right. So over here, super simple. All you're going to do is you're going to check your settings, which is right around here, right at the bottom and about. And you want to make sure that it says your version is up to date. If it is not, you're going to be able to update it, right? So how we do this is we go top left, Quant Tower, then we hit about. And then over here, you're going to be able to see any updates. Why? Because if you don't update it, you won't be able to see Kronos, right? So once you go here, you're going to look for Kronos funding under search connection, right? Kronos, in my case, I already have it up here. So you're going to find Kronos funding with a Kronos funding official logo. And then you're just going to log in with your user, your password, right? This is what it's going to show. Make sure it says rhythmic paper trading and then whatever city is closest to you. In my case, since I am in Florida, Chicago is the closest city to me. Then I'm going to hit connect. It's going to connect you to the rhythmic services. This might take up to three to four minutes if it is your first time starting it up. So do not worry about that. It might take a bit to load the symbols. That is completely fine. That is why you always want to be checking everything 30 minutes before your first trading session, just to make sure there's no connection issues that everything is set up. Now, once you log in here, you will see some sort of workspace, right? For, if you want to have, if you want to move this all together, it's going to move like this, right? So what you're going to do to prevent that, if you want to prevent that is you're going to hit bind, right? You're going to right click it and you're going to hit remove bind. Now you can just kind of move everything around the way you want. So let's create a template from zero, right? I'm going to kind of create the template the way I prefer it myself. So the first thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go top left and I'm going to select the, the Quant Tower logo and I'm going to hit chart, right? I want to have a chart up here. I usually like to have it by the top and that's how I select my chart. So let me just make it nice and bigger. There you go. And I always like to label, enable this. This is where I can have my one click trading, right? Top right, all the here, this button that says quick trading toolbar. And for the sake of the example, let's just put ES on here. Again, when you select a symbol, super easy, you go top left, you click on the name, you click on whatever you want, right? Make sure that for connections, you wanna make sure that if you have multiple connections, you have Kronos on. And if you only have the Kronos connection, it's gonna be that. Again, really important thing, is make sure you're on futures, not on options, futures, you search, and then you're gonna click on it. And then just make sure you select front month for your contract just to make sure you're not trading the wrong contract. Again, this over here was a bit of delays right now. Again, it is 1 a.m. So once you have that set up, right, we're gonna make this bigger or whatever we need to do this, right? Again, let's say we got we want in queue as well. We can also get in queue. Front month for in queue, boom, there we go. So Next thing I want to do is I always want to make sure that I can see kind of what my account balance is and I want to see how my account is doing, make sure to, that I know my drawdown and make sure that I know kind of what's going on with my account. So then super simple, I'm going to go over here to the search history and I'm going to search account back info, right? Right over here, account info. I'm going to get this tab and I'm going to do this. Account info over here. I can see my minimum account balance. I can see kind of whatever's going on now, right? Again, right now, this could be a good trade opportunity, even though it is a demo account. So let's go ahead and take it. If I want to sell at market right now, I place a sell over here, right? I can just sell one. If I want to sell multiple, I can also change that up here, right? Let's say I want to sell two extra contracts. I go here now for my stop loss. It is really as easy as dragging it over here. And let's say I want to place my stop here. And then for my TP or for my limit, I can literally just drag my limit. It tells me how much profit I'm expected to make if the limit hits. And here, now if for some reason I wanna, let's say take a parcel here, you can always right click, modify. And let's say I wanna place, I wanna take out two contracts here, I'll modify it. And then I can right click again and I can add more orders. Personally, I just like to drag it down over here. And then again, since I already have two limits there, I'm gonna right click. Can't actually, sorry, right click, modify, right? 
and then I'm gonna place one lot. Boom, as simple as that. And now we're about to get flattened, let's go. But yeah, so that's kind of how that part works. Now, the, another thing I wanna add under here, which I usually like having is positions because over here I can see my overall PNL not only across the account I'm trading, but any other accounts that I am copy trading. So I come here and I drag it here, right? Let me make some space for the copy trader now. Let's say I have multiple accounts and I wanna connect them all. I'm gonna go over here and I'm gonna select copy trading. Over at copy trading, right? Again, you wanna make sure that you are in the latest version to prevent any glitches with a copy trader and whatnot. So then I'm gonna grab my copy trader and I'm gonna put it over here. Let me just make it small. Boom, there we go, right? I'm gonna grab my copy trader and I can have it all the way over here. So, how to set up a copy trader? It is very, very simple, guys. First, you're gonna go, okay, let me make this small. And what I'm gonna do, if you guys don't want stuff moving around and kind of killing you over, you're literally just gonna do here, right click, create bind, and you're gonna select all. And then you're gonna hit enter, and there we go. So now nothing is moving around weird, right? Then, if I want to start copy trading, right, let me just delete these two that I had. I'm going to delete this here. If I want to start copy trading, I'm just going to hit plus. I'm going to copy a new copier. Let's just call this one Chrono. And then parent connection, right? I'm going to be able to see my account. And then, of course, right now I don't have any more accounts, but over here will be see connection, your account number, right? Your account type. And then pretty much that's all you need. You're gonna have a copy trading, and then once you activate it, all you gotta do is turn it on from this button, status on, and there you go. Now, here down below, you can see the position. So let's say I wanna buy two contracts of ES right now. I can put it here, and here in my positions, I can see my overall gross PL. I can see any orders I have going on, right? So let's say I'll go into ES, right? And I decide to take a trade. Then I can just hit market, and I can trade ES. Hey, if for some reason I want to get out of NQ, I'm not liking it, I can just double click here and then close position on NQ, right? It really is as simple as that. So let's close out our position on ES. Close position and let's close out our position on NQ. You can also right click and close it out there. So super easy to see that, super easy to notice that. Let's go back to NQ. Just to see, we're about to blow this account while I'm doing the tutorial. <laughs> But again, let, let's go M and Q, right? Let's trade. Let's trade a bit of micros for a bit. Let's calm down. And Q, dun dun dun. Futures, M and Q. Calendar sprints, front month. There we go. So there we go. That's M and Q right there, right? Again. So let's put in. And now again, I could put bracket, and I can, I can add a stop loss on. And let's say I want my stop loss to be twenty points. Boom, and I so twenty ticks, and I want my TP to be. On, and I want my TV to be 300 ticks. So I can just buy market and it will immediately put my stop. Of course, 20 ticks in NQ in these conditions, it is way too little. So let's put 150 to 300. So buy market and then it will do this, right? And I can also drag my stop and it will activate. It will move whatever it needs to do. So again, if you're somebody that trades with a fixed stop and a fixed TP, you can always do that. Then what you can do is you can flatten all your positions, right? If you want to get out all your orders and all your positions, you can always flatten, right? Then, of course, over here, if you want to place multiple brackets, you can do that. But if you want to play simple, it really is as simple as that. So let's go over here. Let's put in five micros because it is pumping. And there we go. So another thing you guys can do, again, there's a lot of tools you guys can use. I really recommend you guys to go explore all the stuff that Quant Tower has to offer. If you do have level two data... You can put in stuff like the time and sales. You can put stuff, you know, really good stuff on here, right? Time and sales, the DOM surface, and the DOM trader. You can also use market replay, so you can back this here. But now let's go into probably my, one of my favorite things about Quant Tower, which is a chart customization. So I can go to view. Let's say I want to take out the grid time, the grid price, and let's say I also want to take out. Well, I want to just leave it like this, right? I can add the opening price over here. I can add the previous day high low, the current day high low, and just leave it here. And then after it updates, it's gonna show it's a bit of being a bit slow right now. Okay, the chart froze. Let me go ahead and close this chart. Let me keep. There we go. Yeah, my Wi-Fi is being a bit weird right now. Okay, so once this actually gets back going on, 
Again, if, if this happens to you guys, all you need to do is unbind. Just close out the chart and open a new one, right? Again, we had the settings over here. That's why it froze. The chart didn't actually freeze. So there you go, right? Let's say we got this over here. Let's bring back M and Q. Let's start this up again. Again, this is gonna happen, so I'm glad it happened during the tutorial so you guys know how to manage when these things happen. We're gonna hit enter. It's gonna be big, it's gonna be nice, it's gonna be amazing, perfect. So again, search M and Q. I'm gonna come here, then I got M and Q over here right now. If I wanna edit my chart, first of all, on view, Again, as I said, you can add the daily high and the daily low. You can add the previous day high and the previous day low. So you have all these tools. For some reason, whenever I use previous day high, previous day low, it's freezing. But let's just continue with the tutorial, right? So again, you can do all these things. Let's close the chart and open it again. Close it over here. Open again the same chart. And there we go. Again, you don't want to hit the big button on the left just because what that is going to do is it's going to kind of make this huge right if i click this it makes the charge huge I, I don't really want that so let me go ahead and create a bind and the reason why the previous day high and previous day low wasn't working is because it is still 1 a.m so we need to wait until 9 a.m till the open till we can price that in so yeah but again let's go straight into that m and q front month running contract and there we go right i want to close on my position again as simple as clicking the sex close position and we're out so again, I personally prefer the flat and all. You can just get this here and you're good to go. But you can always place more orders, right? So if I click on this mouse over here and I wanna place a sell limit here, I can just click here and it'll place a sell limit at this point. If I wanna cancel it, just flat and all, and there you go. Over here, right? If you wanna set up hotkeys, you can also do that. But let's go into chart customization as we were gonna go in before. So on the view, you can select kind of types of views you want to see it, how you want to see it order entry you can show it the noises you can show the ads bit whatever you need to see right volume bars if you want them you can put them hotkeys again you can get into them from settings and you can say again if you want the one minute set period 1m so if i want the one minute right i can put control plus two control plus one so i got all these different keys i can use for hotkeys which are great i personally use them to execute right so for example right if i want to buy market where is the buy market? There we go. If I want to sell at the market, I just literally S, shift plus S, and there we go. Then if I want to buy market, I just do shift B, and there we go. That's all I really need, and all I got to do is have this, turn it on, and we're good to go. But again, right now, let's just keep it as is for the sake of the example. Volume bars, if I wanted to see volume bars at the bottom, I could turn them on. Again, over here, if I want to buy, let's say I want to buy it at one contract right now, so 10 micros, boom. And then going back to the settings, right? Over here, again, I can get my order entry. So let's say I wanted to see my labels, I can put them on, right? Visual trading, right? If I want to see my positions, I can see my positions or not show them. I always want to be seeing them. PNL, if you think that seeing the money kind of affects you, you can always put it in ticks and see how many ticks you might be up or down. But let me put it in currency. Let me flatten all over here. And let's continue, right? Again, look at how quick everything is. In one click, you can be in, you can be out, right? Order, same thing. Trade, same thing. I personally don't like having my trades on, but here you can see all the executions that we have taken today. You can put them on or off. Then your stop loss. Again, I recommend you guys always show the stop loss and your take profit. Now, data style, right? How do I want to see stuff? How do I want to see cool? Well, I, you can have candle, you can have bar, right? You can also have line graphs. Again, I personally have candle, but let's say body color. Let's say I want to put it like pronos funding colors, right? So I want to make this here. And I will make the bullish play up, right? And then the border color, same thing. And then down, I want to make it pronos funding white. So same thing over here. And then the wicks, again, wick up. I want to make it this color. Wick down, I want to make it white. So there we go, we got the Kronos colors, right? And then the view, again, you can have all these things you can customize, right? You can do the crosshair, the grid. So let's say I don't want to grid, I can kill this. Then time next to bar, I would really recommend this because this down here at the bottom right, it shows you how much time is left until the candle closes. Then additional symbol description, I don't really want this. So let me take this off. And that's how we get these cleaner charts that you'll see about Quantower.
right? Then you can always just zoom in and zoom out. And if you want to change your time frames here, you can just go to time and you can select five minutes. And there you go. That's your five minute time frame. You can go to the 15. So you can do, you have all these options of stuff you can do, right? Then again, in settings, you click here and this is where you see all the stuff. If you want to see your sounds, confirmations and warnings, order confirmation, order placement, right? Whatever you want to have, like a noise confirm, right? If you have caught keys and you want to make, like in case you want to know if you fat finger a key, you can always put hotkeys action and it'll make a sound whenever you press hotkeys. Again, here, this is where you set them up. And that's kind of the basics of how you can use Quantower. Again, I really invite you guys into exploring all these different tools, right? There's really good stuff. For example, if you want to create a watch list, right? If you're somebody that, you know, trades many pairs, is looking at different things at the same time, then definitely a watch list is something I would recommend. So you just go here, watch list, there we go. Add symbol, right? So let's say I want to be watching micro ES and I want to be watching NQ. So I just select these two and it's just going to tell me the change, the latest bid, the latest ask. And if I want to just chart it, boom, it shows me a chart. And I still have my watch list over here. The copy trader, as I said, you just go here, you click plus, you select your accounts, you add your child accounts. Now, I would recommend you guys multiplier because percentage, it can glitch out and it can't change. So select multiplier. And then if you want, for example, every contract I place on the parent account to be one contract on the mini account, to be the same on the other accounts, press one. Let's say that for every contract I place on the parent account, I want to place two contracts on the others. You select two and then you hit save, right? So again, guys, pretty straightforward, pretty simple platform to use. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to our support on Discord or on our official website as all of our staff members and all of our team are very, very, very diligently trained on how to use Quantower. Guys, if you want to check out Kronos Funding, we're always running amazing discounts, so make sure to check them out on our website as you do have the ability to go live in only four payouts. Thanks for watching this video. Please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys inside of our Discord server.